Today we will be doing a tutorial on how to read data out of an Excel file with Python. And in order to do this, we're going to rely on a package called XLRD, which we have to download and install. So let's go ahead and do that first. So if you open up the command prompt and just do a pip install, so pip install XLRD. I have this already installed, so I will pass that part. So next, let's open up idle. Idle. Okay. Let me set this window a little bit. Okay. So first thing we do is import XLRD. Okay. Uh, next, we're going to specify the location of our Excel file. So for me, it's going to be this data.xlsx file. So file, file location is equal to uh, C drive, users, uh, and data.xlsx. Okay. Next, we need to open up the workbook. So work. Equal to xlrd dot open work book. Pass in our file location. Okay. And now with the workbook, we can open up the different sheets in our uh, spreadsheet. So let me just show you the structure of the spreadsheet file. So you have uh, this one Excel file with two sheets. Right? We're going to open up sheet one. So let's do that now. So we're basically going to do sheet is equal to workbook dot sheet by index. And everything is uh, zero based in XLRD. So if we want to open up the the first sheet, we actually have to send in uh, zero as the index. Okay. Okay, we want to spell workbook right. So let's try that again. Work book. Okay, we got our sheet. So now we can start reading the data from the sheet. So if you want to read the very first value say name. Uh, again, everything is zero based here, so if you want to read data from column one, you actually have to pass in uh, zero for the column index. So it's going to be zero, one, two, three, and the same thing applies for rows, so this is row zero, zero, one, two, three. Okay. So let's read out the very first value, which is going to be uh, sheet dot cell value. First we pass in the row, row 0, and then we pass the column, also column 0, and we get back name. And that is indeed the very first uh, first value. So something that's very useful is uh, if you want to know how many rows and columns a sheet has. So if you want to count all the rows and all the columns, you can actually do something like sheet dot n rows. So that's number of rows four. And we can also do the same thing for columns. So sheet dot n columns, and we get three columns. So what happens if we want to read a specific row? For example, we, we want to read out uh, all the values for, let's say, row 0. We can loop over all the values in that row, like so. So let's say for, for call in 
range sheet dot n calls. We can do something like uh, sheet dot cell value. It's gonna be row zero and columns gonna be the call. Let's print this up. Okay, so we get name, favorite, DOB. So we looped over everything there. We could do the same thing for, let's say, Bob, which is uh, row 2. So we just type in the index of that row, and we get all the information for that row. <coughs> Now let's try reading in all the data in that sheet. We can actually do that with uh, list comprehension. So we can do something like data is equal to, well actually this could be two list comprehensions going on here, but we can just follow along. So we could do sheet dot cell value rc or C in range sheet dot n calls. Okay. And then four are in range uh, sheet dot n rows. Okay. So what we get back is going to be a list lists. So if you check the type of data, it's a list. And if we want to read the value, the first value of the the sheet, we could do something like data zero zero. Again we get name. And if you want to read let's see Alice's date of birth, we would do uh, Zero one, and then zero one two. So one two. Let's try that. Data one two. Okay, this is actually uh, XLRD's way of pr representing dates. So we actually would have to check what kind of value is in this field and then we can convert this into the proper format. So let's just do that next. So how would we check if a field has a date? Well XLRD has a way to check the type of cell value that you're dealing with. So we can try this again. So let's do let's do something like XLRD dot cell type. Actually, what I think I'm supposed to do is something like this. So we do sheet dot cell type plus one dash two. Okay, so we get back this uh, integer. <coughs> In XLRD, uh, when you call cell type, you always get some kind of number, and that number actually represents something. Uh, and in, or in order to know what that means, you have to go to and check the docs. So you want to go to this site and this page, and scroll down to cell, the cell class, and then the type number will tell you what kind of value is in that cell. So we got uh, cell type three. So three is a date. And that is indeed a date. 
Okay, let's make this more useful by converting this into a Python date time. So first let's extract the value from that cell. So we could do that cell time is equal to sheet dot cell value. And we do one two okay. So now we want to convert this into a time tuple. So time tuple is equal to XLRD dot XL as tuple. So then we pass in the XL time variable. And date mode will be zero. Okay. So now we can take the time tuple and pass it into a Python date time method and get back the date time object. So let's import date time. So let's do a print date time dot date time time tuple. No, my bad. Get all the stuff out of our tuple. Okay, there you go. So 1990. Right there. Yeah. That is indeed our date. Okay, well, thank you for watching this tutorial. Hope it wasn't too messy. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the in the comment section below. And see you next time.